The day before the fire comes seems just like any other. School starts again tomorrow and another hot day stretches out in front of us. In the morning, Mum closes all the windows and pulls the curtains across, trying to keep the heat out. But by lunchtime, outside and inside feel the same. The tired old fan blows warm air around the kitchen and everything is heavy and still. My twin brothers and I shake off the stillness and disappear into the bush. We chase skinks, poke jumping jack nests and race down the hill through the dry bracken, Ruby leading the way. Suddenly I realise how far we are from home. But Dad always says, if you get lost, just head back up the hill. And sure enough, I can still see the roof of our house over the trees. Back home, we're too hot to play anymore. We lie on the kitchen floor, trying to catch grapes in our mouths. Mum and Dad are outside, collecting fallen branches. Afternoon blurs into evening, and Mum keeps working in the garden while Dad heads to the kitchen. He holds a glass of whiskey in one hand, wooden spoon in the other, stirring a pot of onions over the stove. Music escapes through the screen door. After dinner, Dad brings us a big plate of watermelon and we eat it lying on the front lawn, juice dripping everywhere. As dusk creeps in, we stretch out on the trampoline, telling secrets under the vast black sky and its endless stars. The night's so quiet we can hear Mum and Dad's voices coming from inside. 